Hello again. Today we are talking about ethical and sustainable fashion. It's the end of the year, so I thought I would do a bit of reflection and showcase all of the slow fashion, small brands, ethical brands that I shopped from this year. A couple disclaimers before we get started. This is not an exhaustive list. There are many more small makers, independent brands who are producing things ethically and sustainably. So that's number one. Number two, and this is very important, this is no shaming anyone who shops fast fashion. Ethically sourced fashion, even though it is the true cost of making and producing these items, is cost prohibitive. For a lot of people, fast fashion is the only option, and we all deserve to feel good and confident in what we're wearing. Also, I am not perfect. I still shop from Amazon from time to time. I'm not perfect, and I'm not claiming to be. So that's number two. And disclaimer number three is, for full disclosure, I work in the sustainable fashion sphere. So some of these items, I was able to buy at a discount. I wanted to be really transparent with that because, as I said, these items are, even though they are the true cost, are expensive. And I just want to let you know, I'm there with you guys. Without access to buying some of these items at discount, I wouldn't have had such an expansive collection in one year alone. So with that out of the way, let's jump into all of the sustainable fashion brands I bought from in 2021. We're starting off with a brand I really rely on for things like basics, and that is People Tree UK. Now, People Tree is really the gold standard of how to have a sustainable fashion brand that has grown a bit more. You know, it's not just a one woman show. They are producing ethically and sustainably on a large scale or a larger scale. Every product is made to the highest ethical and environmental standards from start to finish. They use ethically sourced organic cotton, tencel, lyocell, and responsible wool as their fabrics. And on their website, you can really deep dive into all their missions as a sustainable brand. I would say that People Tree is probably the most budget friendly of all the brands I'll be talking about today. They often have really good sales, keep your eye out, and even tons secondhand on eBay you can get for really, really good deals. Like I said, I use them mostly for basics. You have definitely seen the black trousers I bought from them this year several many times. As well as this brown corduroy skirt I added to my collection for autumn winter. But they also also do specialty prints each season, prints taken from the Victoria and Albert Museum archives, which is really cool and a way to get uh, some unique vintage heels in some really unique prints, <laughs> in, in some historical prints, you know. And even just looking at their website, I'm really struggling to not buy this dress. <laughs> Next, we have one of my favorite brands. And if you are in the vintage cottage core style niche, you have probably heard of them. And that is Sondaflor. Sondaflor is a small women run business that started in Lithuania, who specializes in linen and wool clothing. Their linen comes from a local producer with all of their yarns being raised in the EU. One thing I thought was really interesting is how their use of linen connects with their culture and how they're using that to spread this message around the world. Lithuania apparently currently has a long history of flax production and linen production. I really love how this blend of history and tradition with beautiful feminine shapes, Sondaflor is just the ultimate brand for me. This year, I was lucky enough to add three pieces to my wardrobe. My green classic dress, my blue tartan pinafore, and this white bishop sleeve blouse right here. It's only been this year that I started buying from Sondaflor, and you've already seen these pieces several times. You're going to keep on seeing them, and I can't wait to see what I add to my collection next. We have some cozy knitwear for our next brand, and that is Rebe Knitwear. Rebe is a knitwear design house that's located in Melrose on the Scottish borders. And they're the perfect brand to bring the Scottish knitting tradition to the global stage while still keeping its local, small, and sustainable roots. They use heritage knitting techniques, specifically the intricate ferrile pattern, with very unique and very bold color pairings. The thing I love most about Aribe is their use of color. One of the pieces I added to my collection this year is this piece here, and already it's so beautiful with those deep, rich autumnal tones. But then they throw in this bright blue, which totally completes the package. It just makes it so unique. It's a color I never would have thought to pair with this. You can check out this other one I got last year from them. And my pride and joy that I added to my collection this year is this my perfect autumn sweater vest and I have a lot of shirts with statement uh big sleeves and when I saw that they were doing these Shetland wool traditional sweater vests I knew I had to add this to my collection this is going to be a staple in my wardrobe for a very long time 
Next up, we're venturing more into the independent makers rather than bigger fashion design houses. And that is with I Do Declare. If you are at all interested in nightcore fashion, medieval style pieces, you've definitely heard of I Do Declare. They are a one woman show making each garment themselves out of things like linen and cotton and really unique damask and jacquard patterns. They also do very small updates only when they have pieces ready to offer. So you know that each piece is being made by hand in a slow and responsible way. There is no excess garments, nothing being wasted. And she even collects her scraps and makes things like this beautiful scrap gown, which I missed out on ages ago and can't stop thinking about. The piece I bought from them this year is this dress here. And now I won't try it on for you because I am wearing this dress for a very special occasion next year so you're just gonna have to wait on this one <laughs> Following along this medieval fantasy nightcore aesthetic line is the brand Arm Street Clothing. Well, not exactly clothing. Arm Street actually specializes more in the LARP live action role play than producing clothes specifically for uh, fashion wear. Do not be afraid to scroll through their stuff. You will find really cool skirts and aprons and dresses that you can pair in more historical or more creative ways. You've definitely seen the black dress that I got from them 10,000 times already this year. I can't stop wearing it. It's my favorite dress. I even put my friend Kaylee in it last week. Almost all of their orders are made to measure so you can get a piece of clothing exactly how you want it in the color you want made exactly to fit you. They do have ready to wear stuff as well but they really operate on a making per order type system which of course means nothing goes wasted. They have exactly four workshops two of which produce clothing one which produces armor and metal jewelry and the other which is leather work for their shoes and bags and things like that. Moving back to our ultra small independent fashion brands, we have Violet Fain Shop in Barcelona. Now I might be a little bit cheating uh, because I technically got this dress at the end of 2020 and not in 2021, but I'm looking for any excuse to show off this brand. They have such unique pieces, such a cool aesthetic, and the years have really blended in. You know, Violet Fain is a very small EGL fashion brand that is designed and made in Barcelona. But even if you're not into EGL fashion, you can still use their pieces styled in a different way. They take inspiration from ghost stories, spooky, witchy elements, cottage country style houses. It's just the perfect blend of all of the creepy, cute, spooky, and fantastical themes in such a visually beautiful way. Because they only work in small amounts and with small collaborators, things like lace trims can run out. They might not be able to get the fabric made again. Each series is very limited and so special and unique. I really hope you go check them out. And I have my eyes and my head of thinking about what my next piece will be. <laughs> We have Olivia Annabelle Apparel. Now this one I have bought from this year. I'm just waiting on the delivery. So I don't have the item yet. <laughs> it is a pre-order. Olivia Annabelle is a British brand that takes images of British folklore, the past, mixes them up with very feminine, unique shapes and puts out such interesting and beautiful prints. I've just been so drawn to her work for so long that when she came out with this beautiful collection and this stunning dress, I had to jump in on that pre-order. Their collections are produced on a very small scale with things often selling out and their materials have also been sourced sustainably. They're all about producing fantastical, whimsical clothing and just meet the highest standards, both on the ethical production side and the materials used as well. It's just such a stunning brand and such a beautiful collection. I cannot wait for my dress to arrive. <laughs> I would love to know if you have bought from any of these brands before or if I've introduced any new ones to you. I would love to hear your thoughts about ethical and sustainable fashion and what you're going to bring into 2022 to make your fashion imprint on the planet a little bit less than it was in 2021. And let me know which one of these brands you would put on your Christmas wish list for this year. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If if you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate if you could like it and if you want to see more from me please subscribe I upload new videos every Friday I hope you have a great day wherever you are and I'll see you next time goodbye oh I got to pick you up oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.